Let's draw the Lewis structure for ozone, which is three oxygen molecules. Each oxygen has six valence electrons, and so when there are three of them, there are 18 valence electrons to be distributed throughout the molecule. Now, the most common structure you'll see for ozone has three O's in a line, not a ring. I've already used four electrons by single bonding these oxygen atoms together. And I'm going to fill the octet on the outer oxygens. There we go. Each of the outer oxygens now has eight electrons. That is a complete octet. Octet rule. But I've still only used 16 electrons total. I need 18. And so I'm going to dump the extra two electrons on the central oxygen atom. Now, I've used up all the valence electrons, but the middle oxygen does not have a complete octet. That violates the octet rule. And so, I'm going to move a lone pair from one of the outer oxygen atoms into a double bond. By doing this, this outer oxygen atom still has eight electrons around it. This middle oxygen also has eight electrons around it. And so the octet rule is satisfied for all atoms. Now, why couldn't I have made the double bond on the other side? Well, I absolutely could have. That would be a double bond on the left side, single bond on the right. Six electrons here, two electrons there, and four electrons there. And these happen to be what's called resonance structures. Both are equally valid, and the actual structure of ozone is somewhere halfway between the two. That is to say, the actual bond between an outer oxygen and an inner oxygen is about halfway between a single and double bond. It is not a single bond or a double bond. It is somewhere in between. Intermediate strength, intermediate length, all that stuff. Okay? Now, the most common other structure I see high school kids draw has all of the oxygens in a ring like this. Now, this is a valid Lewis structure, but we scientists have actually done studies and found it to be much more shaped like this. If this is valid, then you should be allowed to get marks for it on tests, especially if you haven't been told that ozone is not in a ring. The only indication that this is not the structure that you would have as a high school student is to realize that if you have four things around an oxygen, how far apart can four things get? The answer is tetrahedrally, 109.5 degrees away from each other. This is actually covered much more in grade uh, 12 chemistry, at least here in Ontario, Canada, but it's a tetrahedral shape. Now, two of these would be lone pairs, so it's much more bent, but it's still supposed to be about 109.5 degrees, maybe as low as 104 degrees. The way you've drawn this molecule, that's a 60 degree bond angle. That bond is way too strained, although it can happen, for the ozone molecule to exist in this way. Long story short, as valid as it is, that's not the actual structure. This is the actual structure, and there's resonance. Draw it that way. It's my recommendation to you. Best of luck.